Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. This is Dr. Muhammad Shafiq, lecturer of philosophy at Department of Islamic and Pakistan Studies Cust. The course I am teaching you is Introduction to Philosophy, and the course code is PHI 102. This is lecture number five, and today we are going to discuss what is metaphysics. As uh, we have discussed previously in our previous lectures, that there are four major branches of philosophy which currently we study in, a, in philosophy as a discipline. And metaphysics is the first branch. It is quite important and integral part of philosophy. And generally speaking, most of the people take metaphysics only as philosophy. So the general conception about philosophy is it's all about metaphysical concepts. Although there are other branches of philosophy as well, which we are going to discuss later on during this course in details. But first, let's see what does metaphysics means. Today's lecture basically consists upon what is metaphysics, what is its meanings, and what are the branches of metaphysics. So let's move on and first try to look into what does metaphysics means. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy which basically concerns with the concepts which are beyond physics. What are these concepts? In order to understand that, first we need to see what exactly metaphysics means. Basically, Metaphysics is a combination of two words, matter and physics. And matter means something beyond, while physics means physical world or physical objects. So, literally speaking, metaphysics would entail, it would mean something which is beyond physics or beyond physical world or beyond physical objects. Another tradition or another concept about the meaning of metaphysics is that when Andronicus of Rhodes was arranging the books written by Aristotle He put the books about these metaphysical concepts after those books which he had written about physics. And some people think that that is why it is called metaphysics. Anyhow, whatever it means or whatever the reason of its name is, Apart from that, let's concentrate upon the concept. What does metaphysics is about? As the meaning says, metaphysics beyond physics, so it is beyond, it is something which discusses beyond physical world or beyond physical objects. That basically means it tries to discover the reality of the physical world. It tries to discover reality of the physical objects. The physical world, we mean the world we can observe through our five senses, such as seeing, 
touching, hearing, smelling and tasting. So all those objects are called physical objects which can be observed, which can be experienced through our physical senses, our five senses we are blessed with. So metaphysics is about discovering the reality of physical world or physical objects. It tries to dig on the reality or knowledge about physical world, about physical objects, and what is the reality of these objects. Where do they come from? Do they really exist? Or they are just mere illusion? There are certain things which normally we can observe, but in fact, do they really exist? It also studies the basic structure and the categories of what does existence mean. For example, when I say Mr. X exists, or if I claim that I exist, so when I touch my body, any part of my body, when I touch it, suppose if I touch my hand, it would say it's not Shafi, it's a hand. Similarly, if I touch my head, Obviously, it's head, it's not Shafi. So there are different organs when we touch them. We cannot exactly pinpoint where Shafi is. So that is what metaphysics tries to dig out, that what does really existence mean? Or we name people, for example, Mr. X, when we see him or her, we say that such and such is Mr. X. But when he dies, then nobody would call him by his name. People would call it a dead body. So what exactly that thing is which leaves someone and they cease to exist? All such questions are the concern of metaphysics. It also tries to look into the reality of not only the existence of things, but also how these things are related to each other. That brings into question space and time. What do we mean by space? Is it something which exists out there? Or space is mere the relationship between the two objects? Similarly, what is time? Some people claim that there is no such thing as time. There are different theories about space and time. For example, Newton's theory of space and time says that space and time are absolute. That means they really exist out there somewhere. While for other people, for other philosophers, time and space is mere illusion. Because when you move two objects, when they cease to exist, how can you imagine there exists space? Or when you don't have the concept of two events, then how would you define time? Normally we define time the relations between the two events. So all these intriguing questions 
are the questions of metaphysics. For Einstein, time and space are relative. So these are the questions which are dealt with by metaphysics. Also, there are further branches of metaphysics. Metaphysics is divided into two major branches. But before moving to those branches, let's see what metaphysics deals with. Those questions, the basic questions, what is meant by the reality? What is existence? What is the nature of existing beings? What is man? Being a part of this physical world, what is the reality of man? What is the reality of universe? Where did it come from? Is universe created or has it been evolved? What is God? What do we mean by existence of God? Does he really exist? Or it's just creation of our mind? Also, talking about man, what is the reality of man? There is another very important and serious question. Is man free? Obviously here by man, we mean human being. So is man free? Does man make his own choices? Or is he predetermined? It raises the question of free will. Then again, the question about space and time. So these are the basic and major questions which metaphysics is trying to answer. And different philosophers, different metaphysicians come up with different kinds of answers. They presented different theories, which we are going to discuss during this course in great detail. So now let's see the branches of metaphysics. There are two major branches of metaphysics. One is called ontology and the other one is called cosmology. These terms might, might be new for you guys, but don't get scared. They are not too difficult, although, although they are new, but they are not too difficult. And I assure you, you will understand these terms as soon as we move on. So let's see what ontology and cosmology is about. The first ontology, ontology is the study of being. By being, we mean real, striving, existing objects. What do we mean by existence of these objects? What are these objects made of? Is this universe, which is full of objects, is it made of something material? Or is it made of something ideal? What is the difference between the appearance and reality of objects? Because sometimes the objects would seem different versus their real existence. So ontology tries to look into what does really existence mean and what is their appearance? 
what is the nature of existing beings what is the meaning of existence is there any difference between different existing things or all the objects in this universe are made of the same substance as some would claim that all the material objects of this world are made of tiny units which are called atoms and what is the nature of these units which are called atoms some philosophers say these are made of matter the nature of the units which compose this universe are material in nature while some other philosophers hold that no this world is not made of matter it is made made of idea and one of the german philosopher whose name was leibniz he says that this world is composed of tiny little units like atoms but he calls them monads and his philosophy is called monadology now these monads are not material in nature they are ideal so this is just a, a glimpse of what we are going to discuss in metaphysics during this course we will try to look into these different theories of existence and we'll try to dig out what is the reality of this universe the other branch of metaphysics is called cosmology cosmology as evident from its name it's about cosmos it's the study of universe how and when did this universe came into being when was the beginning of universe some scientists and philosophers hold that the existence of the universe is just mere an accident just like the big bang theory which says there was a big blast in the beginning and after that all the stars and planets started moving around each other as they are at the moment and that's how this universe started that is what the beginning of the universe is while on the other hand other philosophers hold that no this universe was not a result of mere an accident it was pre-planned and there was a planner who planned the creation of universe and they call him god so cosmology basically is the study of the universe as a whole like how does does this universe operate what are the natural truths operating in this universe how these different objects in the universe are related to each other do they exist in space and time or space and time is mere illusion a big debate in science even philosophy and religion is about creationism and evolutionism some of the philosophers and scientists the most popular would be bismarck and 
Darwin and in our current times Richard Dawkins they claim that this universe the life in the universe is the result of evolution there was a first gene which was evolved and we have been evolving since then and that's how man came into being it's not that man just came into being all of a sudden we are the result of evolution of millions of years on the other hand there's another theory of creationism in which all of the almost all of the religions believe that this universe was created and there is a creator who created this world who created man and then man is bound to obey his order his orders that is how this theory is very much important in defining the purpose of our life on this earth we are closely related to this universe we are part of this universe so once the purpose of our life is defined then the purpose of this universe would be defined in fact when we try to dig out the reality of a single object in this universe no matter no matter whatever it is whether it's man whether it's physical objects or whether it's any other species it's all closely connected to each other once we are successful in trying to define the reality of an object in this universe that would help us solving the mystery of the universe the mystery of the existence of other objects in this universe so this is cosmology about It tries to study the universe as a whole so these are the two major branches of metaphysics now what are different theories about these objects about the nature of existence about space and time about creation and evolution about universe as a whole all these theories we would try to discuss individually in our coming lectures but for the time being you just keep in your mind that metaphysics is the major branch of philosophy which is further divided into two branches as ontology and cosmology so we are going to discuss these in detail in our later lectures i would again stress upon you to get hold of these books and try to grasp whatever you can from these books and if you have any questions if you did not understand anything please do ask me i would be more than happy to answer your questions in fact philosophy is all about asking questions if you don't ask you won't learn so you have to ask questions and do get in touch with me through whatsapp group or email or whatever is convenient to you till our next lecture stay safe and take good care of yourself and your loved ones till then thank you very much and allah hafiz